Hi everybody. Uh, today I am gonna show you how to make a cannon fire in Unreal Engine 5. When the player go inside the cannon, then the cannon will fire. And when uh, the player go outside of the range, it will stop firing. This is very simple and basic tutorial. The player can destroy the cannon, and the cannon can kill the player. You can see that. So let's start. If anybody like my channel then please like and share it. If anybody like my channel content then please subscribe and press the bell button. If you press the bell button then you will get update when I upload any video. You can also press subscribe button from my video bottom left side. So let's start the work. Press uh, right button of the mouse and select blueprint and actor. We create a actor blueprint. I name it Canon. You can name whatever you choose. So open it. Compile and save. Now on the component tab, add a static mesh. Oops, sorry. Static mesh. Uh, rename the static mesh. I rename it Canon. You can rename it uh, whatever you choose. I already have Canon Mesh, two Canon Mesh. Uh, uh, I have my own 3D asset. You find the link on description. But you can um, select, you can choose uh, whatever asset you want. Uh, so I choose so this Canon. Now I will add a box solution. I name it. Health, 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 health collider. Uh, now, now adjust it. it. The x axis is right. And give it value like 70. Yes, it will work. I think it's perfect. Now select the cannon and uh, no pollution, no block all dynamic, it's alright. Now add, now add a spare collision. I size it 8, radius 8. And Mm, place it here so it will look like uh, in Canon mount it feel like the Canon is firing from here uh, also I select a scene component I uh, copy the location of my spare collision and paste it on scene so it uh, in the same place Compile and save. Now add a health component. Uh, I create a health component. If you follow my tutorial, you will know. If you don't, uh, the link is uh, in description. So I add a box collision again. Uh, it would be the range when the player come uh, in this range, uh, the cannon will start to fire. So I give the 150. 550 uh, or 500 yes 500 and this is 100 yes I think it's fine now adjust it mm. go to perspective and left side it's a little upper mm. that's fine now go to the front side not right the front side yes it's it's fine yes now the perspective mode everything is fine compile and save uh, we need to create a few variable uh, I create a variable I name it uh, active it, it is a boolean variable type I create another uh, variable I name it canon offset it would be better now I must create a widget 
in component i need it and i make it a little upper like uh, 190 or 170 now on the widget class i will add enemy uh, enemy health uh, if you don't follow my tutorial uh, if you follow my tutorial you know if you don't check the link in description uh, so i select this now uh, get uh, the widget component and from here uh, search uh, uh, get user widget object and from here class to uh, uh, enemy enemy health now add it with make it straight so it look more beautiful mm, add it with even billion play and create a uh, Uh, variable i name it enemy health or canon health sorry uh, compile and save i must name it uh, canon health ui uh, i change i should change the bot's solution name i name it range uh, or detect range please forgive my spelling or grammar so select the range and on component begin overlap and on component end overlap i must cast to my third person character you choose your own character whatever their name and from there i add uh, active uh, blueprint i must uh, make it true and copy paste control c control v and i must untick it compile and save oops i don't add other actor compile and save uh on the uh, i must create a custom uh, event i name it fire cannon and i select my despair and uh, scene component so i uh, should add a sound when the cannon is firing there is a sound i uh, select a sound you can select whatever you want and i must uh, spawn a actor it would be enemy projectile if you follow my tutorial you know wh when i create it uh, now select despair and search get world location make it straight now from here i must uh, add a vector and i must uh, get my canon offset and search um, a rotated vector and add the scene here uh, from the scene i must search get uh, world rotation make it straight add it with rotated vector make it straight organize it now add it with the uh, plus vector now from here i must uh, add make uh, transform and from here i must uh, make it straight Uh, get all the uh, rotation. I must add it and uh, respawn. Uh, now compile and save and go to my event it. I must add a branch. And from here, I must uh, add active uh, variable here on condition. And I add a delay. Uh, i add one second oh, after one second the cannon will fire and from here fire cannon uh, event so compile and save so i must test it where is my blueprint here is it now place it on the level and play the game alter np uh, 
full skin so when i go inside the cannon range the cannon will fire yes i am in the cannon range and the cannon is firing but on the wrong position wrong rotation so i must fix that so um, select the range i must see the range so i must uh, unhide hidden in game function so i must see it and from the scene i must uh, rotate it on 90 also the spare from pile and save i think it will work now save all now play go inside the cannon and outside cannon is not firing now i am inside and cannon is firing So when I hit by the cannon fire bullet, I must lose my health and I must die. You can see that. Uh, that's because I created the projectile this way. If you follow my tutorial, you already know. Uh, here from my enemy rain projectile, you can see that when the spear hit to my uh, character, it will lose health. 20% uh, damage each, each time very simple logic so I compile and save save all now on the cannon I must add uh, cannon health UI the cannon should uh, show its health so I must create a custom event I name it lose uh, cannon or uh, lose health so lose health and now create another custom event i name it uh, cannon health i look like they already have the same name so make it cannon health 2 and make it little lower and change the position now select the health collider and on component uh, billion overlap uh, I must cast my rifle projectile my own rifle projectile which hit the cannon and if it hit then the cannon will lose health so on cannon health it will show the cannon health what's its position and how much lose the cannon lose uh, cannon lose change it cannon health uh, ui and make it yes that's why it, uh, i cannot change the name okay so uh, cannon health ui i add uh, uh, pro uh, progress enemy health and set percent and for percent uh, i get health component and get two variable one is health and another is math health math health i just divided it i just resize it now just divided it my health with the math health and add it with the percent yes uh, that will work now add uh, now i must add uh, the lose uh, the enemy health with event tick i add a sequence and from here i must add uh, cannon health All right, so in lose health, I, uh, when uh, my bullet hit uh, the cannon, it will lose health and destroy. I, I do that code here. So I add get health and set health. Add it. And from the health, I must uh, minus. Uh, 
I just add uh, 20 from each bullet the cannon lose 20% of health from 100% and if my health uh, goes down to zero then the cannon will destroy so add a branch add condition less than zero less than or equal zero spawn emitter at the location and explosion effects and the location would be create actor location add it with location and now play a sound play sound 2d the sound is explosion you will find the sound in starter content i hope you have that and after 0.27 delay the cannon wood will be destroyed so our code is done compile and save now let's uh, save everything now let's check it if it work mm. yes uh, the health showing uh, the ui showing cannon full health so if i go inside the cannon fire i lose my health if i go outside no fire if i fire the cannon lose health and destroy the explosion is too small i must uh, make a scale big scale of it uh, scale i give it 10 10 10 10 now compile and save save everything play it fully stream or don't fire and explosion fire so this is uh, that's for today i hope everybody like it uh, you can also make it like a, a second fire which i have in my here just duplicate it and make another event graph it will work like fine you can see in my uh, event tick i add it one is one second delay another is 0 0.9 second delay so it looks different so that's it for today bye bye everybody